I've been using red light therapy for well over five years now. Stay tuned as I share all the reasons and continue to rave about this amazing technology. Hey guys, it's Alex here from alexfergus.com and you're behind me, I have two uh, Biomax 900s from Platinum LED lights. Now, these are red light therapy panels and I've been using panels like this for, I think it's like six or seven years now. It's It's been a while um, and I continue to use them. Not only use them, but test them, review them, compare them and, and all those other good things. But I continue to use them because they work. Uh, they've had a profound impact on my life, my family's life, uh, and I know that's true for, for many of you watching the videos out there on, on my channel. So I often get asked, hey, like, what are the benefits? Why do I use it? Um, does it really work? Now, I've covered this topic extensively, both, both here on my YouTube channel and also over at my blog, alexfigures.com, uh, so much so that I just have kind of been ignoring the request to cover this topic again because like I said, I have covered it. So what I'm gonna do is put some links uh, to articles, to some science, to some, some published science, I mean, uh, to some videos, everything that I've done on this topic, uh, but I'm also gonna update it all. Uh, I'm gonna give you a bit of a refresher, I guess. So first things first, yes, we know that red light therapy works. It is well documented. In fact, there are literally thousands of studies on red light therapy or photobiomodulation, photobiomodulation or low level laser therapy as it's also referred to. Uh, so there are tons of studies on this stuff and that's what got me excited about it many, many years ago because the science was so credible. It wasn't just some you know, brand new technology that had a lot of raving uh, affiliate marketers online, you know, raving about saying this is too good to be true. And then you find out that, hey, it wasn't the case. And this was not the case for red light therapy. In fact, the science has been here for many, many decades. And it's only been over the recent years that the, the technology has been able to reach consumers at a consumer price point. Uh, with the invention and the, the mass production of LEDs, we are now able to tap into the benefits of, you know, particular wavelengths such as 660 nanometers. And, um, you know, for a thousand bucks, go and get a panel like this and use it in your own home. So the science is there. Like I said, I've got some in-depth articles looking at the science and the benefits. So I'm gonna put a link to that below, but I wanna keep this video more about my personal benefits and personal reasons why I continue to use uh, red light therapy and panels like the Biomax and the Mito Red and, other panels that I've tested uh, and you, you would have seen me review on this channel. So one of the first things I noticed back in the day uh, when I first started out in the space, I was actually using a Juve Solo. That was their first gen product. And I've done a video, um, again, filmed many years ago, showcasing the benefits I had. Now the b benefits I had many years ago with that Juve panel still apply today. Uh, so I'm gonna touch on them and I'm also gonna expand on those benefits and, and touch on a few other things that I'm noticing with my I wouldn't say daily use of these panels, it's more like three or four times a week I'm, I'm using these panels. So first things first, one of the biggest thing I noticed, and I say this as we're going into autumn now, so we've just had a pretty epic summer here in New Zealand. Uh, one of the biggest things I noticed is sunburn recovery, all right? Uh, so if you're out in the sun a little bit too long, you get burnt, uh, hopefully not too bad. Um, you know, it may take two days or thereabouts for that pain to subside and you know, that redness to go away. Um, that's that's a, a bad burn. I wouldn't say a severe burn or anything like that, but you know, like, okay, you stayed out in the sun for half a day and you didn't cover up type thing. Um, so whenever that happens now, I would just smash a red light, red light session afterwards. So for example, I was out mowing the lawns the other day, ended up doing some gardening, had my shirt off, ended up doing some farm stuff and then playing with my boy, all of a sudden I'm like, wow, I've been outside for you know a good three, four hours in the hot summer sun. Uh, I think it was about three o'clock in the afternoon and I felt, already felt the burn. Like I was like, oh my God, I'm, I've, I've done, overdone this. So what I did, I go inside, 3.30 3 in the afternoon, I did about 10, 15 minutes standing in front of my panels like this on my back. Um, not too long of a session, you know, like these new panels are so, so high powered that you don't need long. That evening after a shower, I did another five minutes. And yes, at that point I was like, okay, there's a burn, you know, I've been burnt here, but it's not, it's not super bad. Get up in the morning and I swear, I swear the, the sensation, that burning sensation, the redness, the inflammation, all that was gone. I mean, you could tell I'd been out in the sun. It was still 
It was still pink, um, but it wasn't that like, oh my God, I can't lie on my back, it's too sore type sensation that I, that I used to have you know, many, many years ago. So I get up and I do another red light session in the morning and I think one more in the evening, just short ones, not my regular you know, 15, 20 minute sessions. And I kid you not, like it's, it's all gone. All that pain, within 24 hours, it's, it's disappeared. Somebody, like I say, if, if anyone uses one of these or if I give a panel to someone uh, and it's middle of summer, it's one of the first things I say, look, if you get sunburn, use it on, on your back or, your, or wherever you get burnt. And they always come back to me and be like, wow, that was, that was better than any after sun lotion or any you know, special creams and massage oils you can put on uh, after getting sunburned because it's, it's so effective. And I mean, the science is solid on that as well, showing how the red light therapy, both in the 660 wavelengths uh, and thereabouts and up to the near infrared wavelengths, so your 850s for instance, it shows that it helps with um, inflammation. It shows it helps with um, collagen production, collagen synthesis. It shows that it's penetrating the skin and helping with blood flow and helping re with recovery and all those good things, which is why it's so effective with someone. So that is one of the biggest benefits, the easy to see quantifiable benefits, I guess, uh, that you notice with red light therapy. But that's only one thing. Another thing that I noticed many years ago is tooth pain. Well, in fact, the lack of tooth pain after using these panels. So I have some sensitive teeth and a high point on my gum, a receding gum on, on my side here. Uh, the dentists have said there's nothing I can do about it. Um, I used to wear a, a mouth guard and I actually think that's what may have caused it, that or over -aggressive, aggressive brushing, I'm not too sure. But anyway, point is if I have ice cold water or even really hot water or you know hot cold contrast type thing, I'll get pain up there to the point where this was happening for years, right? I would just know like if I was having ice cream just to stay away from that side of the mouth. You know, that's, that's how bad it was. Brushing, I'd always avoid that area. And I was thinking this is silly because it's probably gonna make things worse. But I had to, it was so painful, right? Now, I noticed after using red light therapy that within a few sessions, all of a sudden that pain had disappeared. And I didn't, at first I didn't know it was the red light therapy. It was, it was just, you know, okay, the pain's gone away, that's cool. But then I actually went overseas and I didn't take one of the new fancy handheld devices that you can get. Um, I didn't have anything like that back then, so I went overseas for about 10 days or whatever it was. Within a few days, I noticed that tooth pain came back and it remained during the whole trip. When I got back home, I started using the red light therapy again. Within a day or two, that pain was gone. Now, I've learned so much more about dental health, red light therapy, how it works and all that now, to know that yes, it's 100% the red light panel that's helping minimize or eliminate that pain altogether. For instance, I've even spoke to people in the space that have done full tooth extractions just using red light therapy um, devices or, or lasers as well that um, totally remove all pain for a tooth extraction. But they even showed me photos of this. Now, personally, I, I couldn't do that. I mean, that would just yeah, be too much. Uh, too much of a test up here, but um, it just shows that yes, this is so effective at helping with pain reduction. Now you might be thinking, oh, well, it's just masking the pain. It's you know, it's not actually doing anything. Well, let me put it this way: if you have a chronic issue that is always giving you pain, such as tooth pain like that, that there's nothing you can do about it other than take painkillers or be exposed to a bright light for five, ten minutes every few days. Which one would you rather do? I mean, there's, there's no side effects with this. Um, it's a one-off cost. You're not paying on, like, ongoing medication costs or anything like that. And secondly, I do believe that the red light therapy is actually helping with that underlying inflammation in that anyway. So sure, it may not regrow uh, a receding gum, but it's probably helping the tooth on an inflammation level anyway, which, which may in turn maybe why I don't get the pain anymore. But those are just two reasons to get started. The third big reason is recovery. Recovery from training sessions. So if you know a bit about me and my background, I've done all sorts of sports, rowing, uh, powerlifting, bodybuilding, rugby, you name it, I've probably had a go at it. And some of those sports I've done at quite a high level. Now recently I've got back into some serious training. I've built a home gym here. You know, I'm actually in it at the moment. Uh, I'll put some links if you wanna check it out. It's, it's a pretty neat setup. Um, but I've got back into some big lifting. You know, we're talking 
250 kilo deadlifts for reps, you know, some big barbell squats, that sort of stuff. Uh, and I'm pushing the body pretty hard. Uh, I've got some lofty goals with my indoor rowing uh, Concept 2 machine. You know, I'm, I'm in here a couple of times a week really working hard. Now, I know my body pretty well. I've been a personal trainer. I've competed at the international level. Uh, I've been in gyms. I've owned gyms. I've managed gyms. I've been a personal trainer. I, I know my body and I know a bit about training and, and all that cool stuff. So I know what I can and can't do. Now, I'm currently 34. I've got a family, I've got little kids, I've got a farm. Uh, I'm a little bit older, right? So I know that I should only be able to do X amount and need you know Y amount of rev recovery. But all that changed when I started using red light therapy a few years ago. Um, I found that my recovery turnaround was so much faster. It was incredible. Even with like a bad night's sleep or something like that, I was still able to get back in the gym and not only feel better, but actually do better in the gym. Now, Again, all this stuff, you just have to take my word for it, right? But uh, if you look at some of the reviews on my channels and you look at some of the comments just from people who you know, have no uh, bias or no reason to really say this works or it doesn't, you look at some of those comments and you'll see that I'm not the only one experiencing these amazing benefits when it comes to pain reduction or, or healing or you know, burn recovery or anything like that, all right? But the training is a big one. So much so that I've actually set up these panels in my gym so in between sets, I can come over and do a quick, you know, 30 second burst of red light in between sets to help with short term recovery and help with ATP um, synthesis and stuff like that. So again, there's peer reviewed papers to show that all this stuff is beneficial. But at the end of the day, even though it was the science that got me into red light therapy to start with, the proof is in the pudding. You can just experiment with this stuff yourself and you'll notice the effects firsthand and it doesn't matter what the science says, right? So. Recovery for, with training is massive. So for instance, now with my current training program, on a Monday, I'm doing a big row session, a big power row session. So this might be like power strokes, you know, 10 big power strokes, or it might be a time trial race, you know, a sprint race, right? This is what I'm focusing on in my sport. So it's like a minute, you know, race for instance, right? So there's a lot of load going, not only on the nervous system, but the legs, the back, um, you know, the big, the big muscle movers, right? So there's a lot of load on that. I come in 24 hours later on a Tuesday and I do my lower body strength session. Now, a lot of people, when they saw my training program, because I shared it on YouTube and in some forums, have been like, hey, look, that's not going to work the back to back. And I agree, without some epic recovery, that probably would have been too much. But I'm able to do that now. I can come in on a Tuesday, 24 hours after my big row. I'm still doing massive weights on the back squat. I'm still doing massive deadlifts and I'm feeling good. Um, I'm feeling really, really good. And I honestly believe that the red light therapy session that I do after that Monday row, and sometimes even during the warm up of my leg session is helping big time. Um, and you may think, oh, it's just the heat from the light that's helping with blood flow and all that. You can think those things, but I swear to God, you have to, uh, you have to experience it to believe it. And even if you turn the near infrared off and just use the red light, uh, so there's less heat coming from these panels, I still get benefits. Though, I should note, the near infrared is what really seems to help with my recovery from a sports performance point of view. All right, so those are three things, and they're the three big reasons why I continue to use red light therapy on an ongoing basis. But there's heaps of little things as well. So one example is like wound healing, right? I, I actually got a blister on my heel after doing a big row the other day. Usually a couple of days for that to heal. With red light therapy, I just smash that, you know, five minutes in the morning, five minutes in the afternoon, uh, before I go to bed, all that sort of stuff. And so, seriously, within two days, that skin, the, the blister peeled off and the skin underneath had already thickened up to the point that I didn't need to put a band-aid on it for the next row session. Um, cuts, grazes, anything like that. So my boy, he, um, he sees me use the red light therapy all the time now. And when he gets his cut or, or any sort of pain, he'll tell me, hey dad, let's go do some red light. Now I know he's just following his father, but I, I, it's great. I mean, I know it's a safe treatment protocol. There's no side effects or anything. I just shield his eyes when he's using it. But it really, really does help. My wife, she uses this stuff all the time uh, during her pregnancy, after her pregnancy, when she has some cuts or aches or pains, again, she'll use red light panels or the handheld ones, depending where she is. Um, my parents, my dad had a sore heel. We woke up and it was just really sore. Uh, you know, it was limping for a few days. Gave him one of my spare panels, told him just put your foot on it for 10, 15 minutes a day. He ended up keeping that panel. My mum, the same thing. She had a hip injury, had a slip, you know, she was in, a hospital or physio doing all that stuff and she had a bit of a limp gave her one of my panels to use um 
same thing. She's kept it. It's in her house. In fact, uh, they actually got burgled and <laughs> the panel got stolen and uh, she asked if I had another panel to use because she knows it works, right? And so, so these are people that have no real incentive to use the product unless it worked, right? And they're finding, th my parents, for instance, were a bit, oh, uh, you know, this isn't going to work. You know, it sounds too good to be true type thing, right? But here they are like a year later and they're regularly using it and keeping the panels for themselves. And it's applicable for anyone that has used the products. It's why this space is growing. It's why you're seeing so many different companies out there. It's why you're seeing more and more people looking into this sort of stuff. Um, it's It just works, all right? So I don't want this to be like a, a video preaching and, and trying to get you to buy something or anything like that because it's not. Um, I've, I feel like I have covered this stuff so in depthly and in so much detail with you know reference science references and all that sort of stuff experiments that I kind of moved on from it and I just focus more on the reviews and, and finding the best product and when people ask me oh you know does it work I'm like hey look I've already covered that but I realize now when I put that stuff out many years ago I only had a small following and a lot of people hadn't seen my work. Now a lot of people coming in and seeing my work with the reviews and it's the other way around. They want to they want to hear my backstory and, and the reasons why I'm using this panel. So this is why I'm doing this. Now as for what wavelengths or what um, size panel or what company panel or or what power densities or what flicker rate, all those sort of things. If you want to, if you want to know the answers to that, then this video isn't for you. It's more just my experiences and reasons why I continue to use red light therapy. But if you do want to have those questions answered, then be sure to subscribe because what I am going to be doing is a bit of a red light education series where I go into things like wavelengths and flicker rates and beam angles and all these things and trying to help you find the best setup for your needs. So I'm going to do more of that this year and less of the product reviews because I've nearly reviewed every panel out there. By the way, if you want to check them out and if you want to check out what panels I do use and recommend, I'll put links to some videos on that below. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do going forward this year. Um, just to give back and to help people, you know, find a good panel and find a product that fits their um, budget and, and, and their objectives, I guess. But in a nutshell, if you don't want to wait for that or if you don't want to check out that stuff and you just want an answer, answer now, pretty much you can't go wrong. I, I, I mean that. I mean, I recently compared 12 body panels, you know, panels like this. I compared 12 of them, all right, to try find the best one. And like I said in that video, all of them do what they're meant to do. All of those panels, all 12 of them did what they're meant to do. And you would get a benefit from using any of those panels. Some were just better than the others when it comes to price, shipping, functionality, safety, EMF, you know, things like that, right? Um, but at the end of the day, they all work. So you can't really go wrong. So don't think, if someone says, look, you have to use this product or this panel because it does this and it has embedded frequencies and a certain spectrum of light and a certain layout and that's the only one that's going to work. Don't believe them because that's not the case. And I am someone who is affiliated with, with red light therapy companies. So here would be the perfect chance for me to say, go out and buy this one and this one, right? But like I said, they all work. Um, look for your 660 and the 850 nanometers. That's what I used all those years ago. In fact, that was all that was really available uh, for, for a few years in the space. Now, of course, we've got multi-wave uh, panels and we've got, flick, uh, we've got pulsing rates and we've got all these advanced features like touch screens and Bluetooth apps and all that, uh, all that really neat stuff. But at the end of the day, you don't really need it. So don't get too caught up in stuff. Just go out and buy a red light therapy panel. If a friend has said, hey, look, this panel works for me and it's working well for them, you know, just get that panel. If you do want to learn more about it, like I said, subscribe. I will be covering more of this stuff in the future or if not already. And um, again, feel free to check out my reviews. I've reviewed a lot of panels. Uh, some are great, some are okay, but you can get better panels. I, I guess that's a good way to put it. Anyway, if you do want to know more about my story, um, let me know, I, check out the links below because I have covered this in detail. I just wanted to touch on the key reasons why I continue to use these products um, and hopefully that answers a few questions. All right, I'm gonna sign off and um, we'll talk to you another day.